Hey guys, welcome to Artsy Studio. I'm Kara. And I'm Kason. What are we going to paint today, Kason? A pig. Ooh, and what are we going to use? Watercolor. Today we're going to show you how to paint a pig using watercolors. Yeah. So, are you guys ready to get artsy? artsy? We're going to paint Mr. Piggy today, but before we paint Mr. Piggy, we need to go over some supplies we're going to need. First, you're going to need some watercolor paper. If you don't have watercolor paper, Bristol paper or cardstock will work. Regular papers are sometimes too thin and can make holes in them. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need a set of watercolors. You're going to need some water, watercolor paint brushes. You're going to need watercolor pencils, glue, scissors, and colored cardstock. Okay, when we get started, the first thing we're going to do is draw the pig. So, you're going to need your pencil, and I like to use a stencil of some sort. You could use a plate. Um, I'm going to use this handy dandy color wheel I have here, but it helps to get a really nice circle, and then you can feel a little bit more confident about your drawing. So I'm just going to stick this in the center of the paper, and I'm going to trace with my pencil around... to make the face of the pig. The second thing we're going to do is draw the pig's ears. So they're kind of like triangles, but they're kind of a little curved. So we're going to start from the top, and we're going to make a curved line that meets the circle. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So that's the inner part of the ear. And now we're going to do the outer part of the ear. We're going to do the same thing. And then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw the pig's snout. That's another word for nose. So that is a big oval. And if you don't know what an oval is, that is a squished circle. And then you're going to put two ovals standing up inside that one big oval. And the next thing we're going to do is draw the eyes. And again, like I said, Stencils are really nice, so I'm going to use this stencil and make sure we get a really nice round eye. I'm going to give them a, a big eye here. And then we're just going to do another one on the other side. And then I'm going to choose a smaller circle to make the pupils. Then we're going to put a little smiley face down here. So we're not going to do a smiley face all the way across, though you can if you want. I'm just going to draw a curved line and then a little curved line over here. So that's the face and we're going to add the body on and that's really simple. So we're going to start from about a finger space over from the smiley face on the side of the circle. We're going to start our pencil there and we're just going to make a curved line that goes off the page. 
Then we're going to come down to the other side and we're going to start at the circle and make a curved line that goes off the page down here. And then we kind of want to make a little leg here. So you're going to start about halfway on this curved line and you're going to come down with a curved line to the bottom of the page. So your pig is all finished. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get out our watercolor set, our watercolor pencil set, and we're going to go ahead and trace the outline of the pig in a pink watercolor pencil. Okay, now you have outlined your pig in the pink watercolor pencil. You are going to move on to your watercolors. So, we're going to need a glass of water and a paper towel, a paintbrush, and our watercolors. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to dip your paintbrush in your water. Then you're going to go over to this hot pink color and you're going to fill your brush with watercolor. And we're just going to follow the outline that we already have and we're going to start painting our pig from there. Then when we get a really nice dark outline, we're going to put more water and you're just going to keep painting and filling in the pink pig. Make sure you are being very careful when you go around the eyes. The outside of the painting doesn't matter as much because we're going to cut it out. Being very careful going around the eyes, just little bitty strokes. And when you notice that your paintbrush is getting dry, you're going to add more water and a little more paint. Start from the outside, add more water, and work your way in. So you want to go around and add darker colors to the outside of the ear. So you're going to put less water, more paint around the outside of the ear and the snout and areas in the outline that need more color. You're going to move on to the black. And we're just going to use our watercolor pencil and we're going to outline the eyes. In black and we're going to fill in the nostrils and we're going to outline our smile here and if you wet your pencil a little bit it'll give a nice effect.
want to add some black watercolor. And we don't want to forget to add some eyelashes. Using either your paintbrush or your watercolor pencil. And here's our pig. Thanks for getting artsy with us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and leave comments below. You can follow us on Facebook, and you can follow us on Instagram at Artsy Studio, and check out our website for more blogs and tutorials.